casting down these imaginations, reasonings, sense knowledge, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. What exalted itself against the knowledge of God? His senses. What exalted itself against the knowledge of God? His senses. What he could see, what he could hear. So what was Abraham doing? He was casting down these reasonings, what he could see, what he could hear, and everything that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. What is the knowledge of God? The Word of God. So what was Abraham doing? He was, exalt- he was casting down <clears throat> these reasonings, what he could see, what he could hear, that was trying to exalt itself against the Word of God, and in bringing it into captivity, every thought... In other words, everything he could see, everything he could hear, everything he could reason to the obedience of Christ. Who is Christ? The Word. The Word. The Word. So now you know why the Word of God says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. In other words, we walk by the Word and not by sense knowledge. Now you know what the Lord is saying, be a doer of the Word. Abraham here was a doer of the Word. What was he doing? What was he doing? He was doing what the Word said here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. He was casting down the reasonings, the imaginations, what he could see, what he could hear. He didn't go by what he could saw or what he heard or that his body was dead or that, or, or that, that Sarah's womb was, was dead or any of these things. He didn't go by any of that. What did he go by? He went by the Word of God. He went by the Word of God. He cast down that sense knowledge and he brought every thought into the obedience of the Word. The Word of God. The very same way, if any of you have heard me minister before, that Jesus Christ brought the, the thoughts into obedience in the, in the wilderness in Luke's Gospel chapter 4. That's how he was a doer of the Word. He was acting on the Word of God, <clears throat> giving God what? An opportunity to act. You see? If he went by what he saw and what he heard, he would have never been able to give God the opportunity to act. You see? God has to have that opportunity to act. We can't walk by sense knowledge. We have to walk by the Word of God. You see, my dear people... Acting on the Word of God is letting... You listen to me. When you act on the Word of God, you're letting Jesus Christ act through you. You're giving the Word of God its place, its proper place, and you're giving Jesus Christ His position of lordship. That's the reason why the Word of God says, be a doer of the Word. Be a wise man. How many of you here want to be a a wise man? Amen. That's very simple. Then be ye doers of the Word, and not hearers only, deceiving who? Yourself. Hmm? So what's he saying? Cast down those thoughts that you can see and hear and go by what the Word of God says. You say, but I'm sick. I feel sick. I look sick. I talk sick. Grandma thinks I'm sick. My mom thinks I'm sick. I am look sick. The Word of God says, by His stripes, you are healed. You are healed. Oh, woe is me. I'm so broke. I got no money. I got no money. Where's my money? I got none in my pocket. Don't see any. Don't hear any. Don't rattle. Nothing. What's the word of God says? I shall supply all your needs. I shall supply all your needs. Don't you think He's able to supply our needs? You better believe it. You better believe it. But you see what we do? We go by what we see and what we hear. We walk by our sense knowledge. You see? So, my dear people, the Lord would have to tell you this evening, be a wise man. Be a wise man. Jesus is talking about your house. Did you hear me? 
He's talking about your house. He ain't talking about my house. He's talking about your house. He's saying, be a wise man. Be a doer of the word. Build your house upon a rock and be a wise man. Give God an opportunity to act for you and your house. Amen? Amen. Be a wise man. Amen? Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Y'all learn anything tonight? Amen. Praise God.